Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you're rocking. We got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull from both of the Spirit Shield Oracles by Cancer Baby Tarot, uh, the Oracle and the Tarot deck, and also from the Law of Attraction um, deck um by island time wellness card to see where your energy is uh yeah there you have it let's start with the oracles and go from here to see what comes out all right so time within the next week time time is at play right now because it's coming out winter time which is now within the next week something is going on within the next week and we will pull tarot to clarify what it is uh okay yeah manifest yeah the things that you manifest is going to start happening within the next week uh it's been a long time coming social media um could be businesses online could be um yeah it says finding old friends fake accounts uh more activities online dating so you could be more active with uh social media but something about if you hear my grandbaby in the back my pretty she's singing back there uh, right next door to me um, that uh, something you're grateful for and something about what you manifested um, and it's happening now so again you could be spending more time on social media there were obstacles there were <laughs> what is she doing? I'm trying to see what she's saying but uh, yeah there were obstacles that happened and now everything that you have manifested are coming to fruition let's pull from the law of attraction since we're talking about the obstacles and being grateful for the things that you've manifest and things that are happening. Um, you could have gotten off of social media or you could be doing things when it comes to social media. Yeah, allowing. Allow. I'm trying to see what she's singing. Tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. So that could be a message for someone she's singing tomorrow by Annie. Um, Hard Knock Life. You know Annie, right? So allowing, relax, enjoy yourself, have faith. Um, yeah, because the sun will come out tomorrow, right? And that's the reason why uh, within the next week, that, you know, being grateful for another day, right? Um, it says answers come, highest outcome, and allow situations to unfold. But you have to observe, first of all, not getting caught in the story or the details, total acceptance of what is, step back and see a bigger picture. Tomorrow the sun will come out, whether the obstacles, you know, if you're stuck in a gray a day, I forget and pray and it's lonely. I just stick out my chin and grin and say, um, so let's see what's happening within uh, the next week. Two of Cups energies. It could be love, could be something, could be some type of opportunity or some type of relationship when it comes to um, something that you've been hold that has been happening. So somebody that you uh, have been dealing with in the past or that caused a lot of delays. Okay, hold on. Let me get her to. Oh, she's really singing. Hold on one second. Yeah, you're singing really good. Keep it down just a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, something that you're grateful for, but at the same time, this could be in regards to some type of relationship or a situation that, you know, is unexpected that's happening. There could have been a point of uh, trust issues or some type of imbalance in the past, which caused delays and obstacles. And Basically, when it comes to what you're going through, the love, the friendships, and the connections, you had to allow and observe, sit back and observe about the blocks, uh, the, the blockages, the obstacles, the delays. And, you know, it's just like sometimes it uh, cancellations, things happen. You know, you have to pull your energy back. So somebody could be watching you on social media uh, because you're, you're becoming more active on social media. But, you know, at the same time, it says wintertime. So what is happening for cancer in the wintertime? Card comes out. Ace of Wands energy. You have the courage in order to go after the things that you want. The Ace of Wands energy is you starting somewhere. So maybe you're starting a business online and you have allowed, you have watched everybody else go through certain things. You're going through the obstacles and delays of things not happening the way you want to. So right now, when it comes to connections, you are going to step out and have courage and faith and be able to uh, see things through because social media plays a huge part in what it is that you want yeah seven of yeah seven of pentacles so maybe you were active on social media seven of pentacles comes out 
seven years is taking you to actually start to go after the things that you want or actually the seeds that you planted seven of pentacles seven years ago is actually starting to come to fruition being grateful for connections relationships and situationships and also seeing the good from the bad when it comes to the obstacles and the paradigm shifts that had to happen in order for you to understand for you to be able to manifest to grow and to change and, and to understand the ebb and flows and um yeah that is how i see that and being grateful uh for yeah what you are grateful for it fell out <laughs> being a fool okay respectfully being grateful for the people the frogs the fools the the things the energies that came into your life the negativity being able to take the risk or not take risk and now actually understanding why you planted this seed a long time ago and so that's kind of how i see that yes oh that's so pretty it's your skirt yeah that's so pretty yeah so you're grateful now for the energies that made you have to get to the point to look at the obstacles the delays and things like that so manifesting what is it that you have manifested you planted the seed yeah manifest it manifest greatness so this card tried to come out i'll go ahead and turn it over success yeah success based upon heartbreak so this could be in regards to an old relationship that you've been a part of five of cups energy yeah having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness but still staying you know and in the process of staying you observed and you allowed certain things to happen and now here it is you're just like no i'm gonna go ahead and move forward and you know maybe social media again plays a huge part on it and now somebody is observing what you're doing instead of you observing what someone else is doing does that make sense and so i'm gonna pull from the island uh, excuse me from Maruk x's uh original uh finance deck to see what comes out what you've been working on prudence and money manager money manager is in the reverse so this tells me that basically you weren't managing your money and prudence yeah this is just like don't let the balance of your credit cards get too high so struggle financial energies of struggle and now you had to yeah the bad news you had to understand where the struggle was coming in at and it says put something aside for a rainy day stay within budget and start living within your means so at some point you were living beyond your means and that's why i say by you observing uh somebody's social media yeah instead of you actually doing the work for yourself that now you understand why you had to take a leap of faith and so within this week and within the winter time things are starting to come towards you but the money manager being the reverse lets me know that you had to learn a lesson of why you know the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness causing you um heartbreak and also now with the manifestation you're able to move forward and to um you know get out of the challenges and the heartbreak that has basically happened um in the past you know so it says money manager this card could indicate your career or finances could take a giant leap forward consider careers in money management banking accounting and anything in finance you can't you can expect a happy outcome when it comes to your finances so because it's in the reverse you had to really understand that you were overspending and even though you know and you don't want to admit it you were overspending you were doing things but you didn't recognize the gifts that the universe was giving you and that's a paradigm shift it says someone might give you a gift uh lend you money or help you in some way you could get a cash bonus at work you have natural talents gifts and abilities just waiting to be discovered explore them and so that is what you are doing and that's why you stepped out on faith and you started planting the seeds and manifesting the things that you want seven of pentacles energy and it could have to do with social media or it could be now that with this being said you know somebody is watching your growth and your and you're not just watching someone else someone else grow and say i can do this or i'm not this is from virtual realities coins what is it called coins cash and crowns um uh card deck a lot of cards came out we'll go ahead and look at them um a water transport transportation and water transportation worker mm -hmm. so maybe this is a career it's funny because i was on the phone with somebody earlier that does something similar to that uh 59,000 a year operation operates and maintains vessels that take cargo and people over water it says works for long periods uh, and can be exposed to all kinds of weather no education requirements for entry-level sailors and marine oilers um, other types of water transportation workers typically completes 
complete U.S. Coastal Guard approved training program. So it says athlete and then it says civil engineer. So civil engineer, it says 87000 a year, designs, builds, and supervises infrastructures, projects, and systems. Splits their time between working and in an office and working outdoors at construction sites. Monitor operations or, or solves problems on site. And you need a bachelor's degree in civil, en civil engineering um, in one of its specialties uh, or in civil engineering technical something sorry i got a message um yeah so uh maybe a civil engineer maybe this is something athletic athletic and sports competitor so fifty thousand dollars a year participates in organized sporting events so again these things could mean something to you but at some point this is water flowing through you this is how i feel youtube or tiktok star is there um, but, you know, these are people who um, are doing things, but basically this is talent, this is school, and this is you not needing anything. But whatever it is that you're able and capable of doing things, you just have to be able to be mindful of what it is that's keeping you together or holding you back. So I'm going to pull from the Show Me the Money deck by um, Tierra Monroe. All right. Yep. Manifest with scripting. Um, manifestation journaling and the bottom of the deck is sufficiency and comfort so you got out of your comfort zone and you started to do something and that's the paradigm shift when you get out of when you step out of your comfort zone you start to look at things and try to see so a money manager you could be telling people that these are you could okay and how I kind of see this is that you could be successful in showing people different aspects of life and where having the inside of knowledge to know what's causing sadness but you could be working on these four people, observing how people do things or allowing people to come and, you know, take get your knowledge when you should be making this a business or a career of, of a money manager or also um, understanding why you're not able to do things uh, because you're giving all your energy, your time and um, making another person successful when, you know, here it is, you should be planting the seed and doing something for your success if that makes sense I don't know um, but yeah that's just kind of how I see that energy but you have the power to do whatever it is that you want to do but when you're you know comfort in your comfort zone or if you feel like you're not worthy of a certain situation then you start to yeah make mistakes exactly mistakes at the bottom of the deck real estate is here it says um, build a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it so that is what it is, worrying about your foundation. Put, put that in your bag. You can take that home. Yeah, um, and it says any dealings in real estate will be profitable at this time. Realtor, loan officers, loan officer, appraiser, or any career in real estate. Hold on. I'm about to sneeze. Okay, so, yeah, I had to sneeze. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, but anything that deals with you showing people what their career is and their future and now it's a paradigm shift. You're starting to allow yourself to be successful and not just be in comfort of letting people uh, else, let, letting other people know what their strengths and weaknesses are. And it says mistakes here. It says bridge the gap between the expect, expectations and reality. But past mistakes left you financially insecure and keeping you stuck. Again, this is why I said this prudence, past mistakes, you learning from the past instead of you observing and trying to um, um, uh, and instead of trying to do the work for yourself or create things for yourself, you become your own money manager. And it says, um, mistakes will be made, but you'll learn from them. And that's where you're observing and the paradigm shift is because you have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness and going from there, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and do the ask yourself question, ask yourself that to see what comes out but yeah you have the power to teach people how to do things or see greatness in everyone but the mistakes that you make is that you know they pay other people to do this and they will come to you for free uh, advice and you are showing people houses telling them how great they are as a um, athlete yes yeah, strengths yeah see people recognize your strengths but they won't tell you that um, like being on social media you could be this people creating stuff you're telling people all these types of things, but the mistakes that you're making is not going out and doing things for yourself. So strength is here. The question is, it says, 
Where do I find your, where do you find, where do you find your inner strength and toxicity is here? What boundaries are needed to be created? What boundaries need to be created uh, in your life when it comes to a toxic situation? So the king, of, the, the king of wands energy, um, when I was learning uh, and understanding what tarot was, the king of wands, the thing that stuck out to me about um, the um, cards were the king of wands energies, the court cards. It says a true leader leads from the heart, inspires others to do more, dream bigger and be better. But in this king of wands situation, you have to do this for yourself, right? What ideas are you ready to implement with others? And so you are becoming the money manager, recognizing the not necessarily mistakes, but lessons that you made um, um, in the past or whatever. So you have to understand that a lot of the energies that you went through and you giving your all and telling people how great they are, you forgot to tell yourself how great you are, which causes you to be comfort. And so the gift that you're giving to yourself Maybe it's somebody blessing you and saying, you know what, you deserve more because you've always given everybody else things. I've observed you do that, but you allow everybody else to use you, use you, use you until they can't use you anymore when you're financially in a bind. And so I'm going to show you how to put all of these things together, if that makes sense. And so, I mean, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let me pull from the Doris Tarot deck to see what doors are opening and closing in your life or what it is that you need to know from uh, these situations here. But yeah, I just believe that sometimes you just have to know that you keep giving too much of your energy to people and it's just not a point to where it's beneficial for you. Um, so you have to uh, sometimes set the boundaries. Yeah, three of cups energy, be grateful. First of all, be grateful for the people that are in your life, but sometimes you can't just help everybody. You know, the, the masks are off and five of cups energy comes out twice. Yeah. So who's going to save you when your house is on fire? You know, not literally, but you know, who's inside the knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. But when you have given your all, you know, to someone, you have no one to call. None of these people here because they're able to do everything that you taught them to do. but when your house is on fire and you um, have financially pulled all of your energy out and, you know, there is nobody for you to count on. And so that's when the doors start to close for you and you start to high priestess, really look at things from the outside in and see that, you know what, I'm draining myself out when it comes to this. Uh, I'm, I'm draining myself, uh, Queen of Swords energy. And the Queen of Swords says, stand up for yourself, always speak your mind. Don't take shit from anybody, but you're really looking at the things that are causing you pain and feeling like you're being backstabbed because people will always come out and help. And like it says, to find, you know, people uh, that are doing things the way you want. But again, you have the power to create this. It's causing you more downfall than anything else. And so people are celebrating based upon your energy and they might be grateful for you, you know. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, who do you have to count on? Who can I run to escape, right? You know, who can you run to when you need love or anything else? So I think that is a good reading. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements. I kind of want to pull from another deck to see. Yeah, I kind of want to pull from another deck to see what it is. But again... Who can you run to when you need something? You know, you don't have anybody. When your house is on fire, not literally, but when when, when everything has hit the fan, right? When shit hits the fan, who can you run to? So you have to be impeccable with your words. It says become a white magician. And again, understand why all the magic you possess is based on your word. And you cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can... Uh, release someone with a spell so you got to send strength and healing period to people because again you have to really realize what's causing you stagnation having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness and to feel some type of way ten of swords energy you know like misfortune and struggle and all of these different energies to where you aren't getting the same energy back and feeling defeated and feeling like again there's all types of crises for you but again, this is all because you've given your all and when when things are hitting the fan, you have to find people that's going to be 
your, you know, in your corner, if that makes sense. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck again. If you want to get, um, oh, shoot. if you want to get uh, my perspective of the crystal, uh, excuse me, of the chakras and the four agreements, oh, I hit my microphone, click the link up above. The Ritualated Quartz came out, and this is all the chakras. So, again, all the chakras are manifestation, amplification, and resolution. It says, I easily and clearly visualize what I wish to manifest. And so that is what you had to observe in order for you to know the things that you want and what you don't want. And, again, it's about manifestation, but it's also about you leading, you know, and, and being able to, uh, you know, have people to count on when you're having some type of uh, crisis or issues or something like that. So that's where the shift is coming in at. You're learning from the past and understanding that you have to take control of your life, your finances, and the things that you want out of life. And so that's kind of how I see that. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys